Now, one of the most dramatic differences in culture itself, and we're going to stay in culture here for a few minutes, is, is the differences that you see that generally fall into two rather large categories. Uh, the first one is individualist uh, cultures, and the other one uh, is, is collectivist cultures. And as you can probably imagine, uh, when we're talking about individualist, individualism, um, the American culture is, is the poster child for individualism. Uh, the emphasis here is on personal goals. Uh, you can even, uh, if you go back, uh, you can listen to some of the interviews of some of the athletes in the, in the uh, Olympics, and you would probably hear the difference here. Um, and mostly uh, identity itself is defined um, by, in terms of identity, it, uh, is defined by personal attributes. <clears throat> so, essentially, uh, a good example is if somebody were to say, so, de so describe yourself. Um, and you might say, well, I'm strong in math. I uh, am pretty good in playing soccer. Uh, I have, uh, I come from, um, you know, uh, Central Colorado, a, a number of these things, attributes, I, I like to smile and have fun, I like excitement, all of these things, we define ourselves by our personal attributes. Um, the, personal control is a high value in individualist cult, uh, cultures. Um, and that comes into play sometimes overboard in some relationships, but personal control and the other one that comes along with it is individual achievement. And it doesn't mean that that doesn't, um, isn't seen in other cultures, but the emphasis on it is really what's key here. So individualism, individualistic uh, cultures are, are part of that. The, the downside of this kind of culture is what we see in uh, loneliness, uh, in some of the um, uh, depression, the incidence of depression and suicide. Uh, we also see it um, in uh, higher divorce and homicide rates, um, increased divorce. Those are just a few examples of the cost of an individualistic culture, okay? Um, the second kind is predominantly, and, and I will say, I, if you've ever traveled um, ar around the world to other countries, uh, you would suffer culture shock um, when you are part of and become uh, intera or interact with people that are from a collectivistic uh, culture. So, and obviously that's the other big uh, type of culture that we find. And the, the emphasis here is, is very different. Um, we talk about group goals. Uh, we talk about, um, we talk about solidarity that are part of this collectivistic culture. Ultimately, we are judged by the group, not as an individual. Um, relationships in these kinds of cultures uh, tend to be far more stable. Um, whoops, relationships um, are more stable in uh, the col collectivistic culture, partly because when relationships break down, then the group breaks down. And, and so uh, the value that's placed on that is extremely high. Um, social harmony. Uh, a great example of this is that if you are, were or ever have the opportunity to interact with someone um, if from a uh, Asian culture, which is a lot of times the, the, the touch point where a lot of us have contact with collectivistic cultures, <clears throat> social harmony is so high in so many cases 
that they will always agree, even though privately they would never agree. Um, so the, the uh, identity is is derived, unlike the um, the individualistic culture. Remember, identity here is derived by personal attributes. In this case, identity um, is is derived from is defined by belong, by the group I belong to. Whoops, is defined by the group and the role I play, and that sounds to many of us who have grown up in such an individualistic culture um, sounds really intrusive. Um, uh, the last one I'll mention is uh, each person's um, life task, if you will, is to uh, uh, assure stability in social connections, uh, to maintain social connections. And increasingly, at least in our culture, you see social connections breaking down and fraying. Um, and in the uh, uh, collectivist cultures, you see these maintained very, very strongly. One of the prime examples is what this picture portrays, and that's uh, what happened during the Japanese tsunami. You saw very little looting, um, and you saw a huge effort on the part of people who were preserved uh, to to help other people. Now, that doesn't mean we don't help them, but um, a lot of times the diffusion of responsibility is seen far more strongly uh, here, which means that if we see something, a crime happening or whatever, and we're in a group, our tendency is to say, well, somebody else will stop it. I don't need to stop it. Um, and in a collectivist culture, that oftentimes, crime for one thing, it's not as if it doesn't happen, but uh, each person has a responsibility to maintain these social connections. And Japan was a prime example of that um, during, during the uh, tsunami. Uh, 